Easy at Homestead. I'm Erin and I want to go over how to support your peppers. We have been really late in the game on doing our pepper supports and don't know why we've just been really, really busy. It's this time of year and it's also, you know, the end of school, the end of COVID, the end of a lot of things. So the beginning of the end. So um, I wanted to show you, this is our pepper bed. This is our big pepper bed. We have peppers in this bed, but they don't necessarily need trellising or supports, I should say, because this isn't a trellis. But I just wanted to show you how we do that. So I'm gonna insert some time-lapse here so you can see how we put the stakes in, ran the twine, and then I'll go over it with you. see we just put in stakes on either side of the bed we ran twine between or through some of these plants I planted them weirdly this year normally I plant them in a much more row like fashion we were remiss in doing this uh, we needed to do it sooner as you can see here some of our thunderbolts fell down in a storm we had this past weekend and um, so they had a little bit of damage. So we definitely wanted to get those up and off the ground. This one too fell over. Um, it had a branch break off of it. So we wanted to just make sure that it was going to survive and be supported. But look how big some of these fruits are on these plants. Um, like this thunderbolt is pretty big. And so it just needs some help. Once the fruits come on the plants, most of these, we had to do a little bit of jury rigging because I planted so weirdly. but. This will be all right. Um, we'll just put it underneath here. That's part of support. It's just making sure your plants are supported correctly. We needed to do this a while ago. It's our fault, Peppers. Sorry, please keep producing for us. <laughs> so there are a lot of peppers that don't necessarily need supports like this. Um, the shishito peppers don't need supports like this. A jalapeno pepper needs a little bit of support, but you can get away without it because they're smaller peppers. We have some mini bells in the front here that don't necessarily need support because they're also a smaller fruit. But we have a lot of sweet bell peppers in the back. We have some big thunderbolts. We've got the tangerine dreams. Uh, we've got some variegated um, peppers. So they're all really big fruited pepper. And once a big fruit comes onto a plant, um, most people think of melons. But once a big fruit comes onto the plant, the plant just sometimes needs a little bit of support or they can, um, fall over and uh, we want we don't want that to happen so we we should have done this a while ago but now it's in doesn't look so perfect but that's all right as long as it keeps the plants upright it doesn't have to be right but um, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you guys what to do with peppers the best way also um, once you get peppers into the ground and you've trimmed them off and they've been transplanted pot like tops just leave them alone that's it. Um, check for bugs and things as you go. Make sure that if there's any type of diseased portion of the plant, you cut that off. You can treat the peppers with neem oil if they get a lot of white flies, um, which once I've always, once I grow inside, they get white flies, but once I've grown outside, they don't. So it's up to you how you want to treat those. I treat them with neem oil should I need to, but um, I haven't needed to treat these. They've been super happy. We raise ladybugs and let them go in the garden. So um, yeah, so they've been pretty, they've been doing pretty well. And there's a lot of peppers that are starting to form, which makes us really, really excited. We had our first shishito handful the other day, which is one of our favorite peppers. If you don't grow shishitos, you should totally grow them. They're delicious. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps a little bit and I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.